Hello, hello, it's Ralph Turtle here with not a, but a creepypasta reading, not a reaction, see, creepypasta, and oh, who made it? I'm going to show you guys. It was me! I made it! I got really bored one day and nobody was on it. I made a really good creepypasta. At the end, I'll be reading some comments that people said about it. And the replies I did. If you like this, like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't, dislike, comment, and look at my other videos. And try to subscribe. Please, I only have two. Uh, sorry. I've been a little... I've been coughing a lot and I'm losing my voice just from that. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be better soon. But, anyway. Away from that cramp. Let's put this down. And I don't want to open another tab. Just said too many tabs because all my tabs are filled. But, anyway. Let's get to a TMNT creepypasta. One night you are watching your TV. Losing track of time. Watching Nick at Night. It was a Tuesday, and you see this little thing pop up to tell you what was next. It was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the new episode. You were curious. It was, like, it was Tuesday, and it was still neck at night. But being the biggest TMNT fan ever, you watched it. It came on, but it went straight to intro. The intro was different. It was black and red. All it said was, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are going to kill you. That scares you a little. Like, what sick joke was this? You try to turn off the TV, but it stays on. You unplug it, and it still is on. You sit down, scared to death, and when you calm down, it starts. You only saw Leo, Raph, and Donnie, but no Mikey. Leo was crying, and Donnie said, We will miss you, little brother. He said, And you seen Mikey's stuff on the table. Then a flash shows Mikey in Raph's room, and Raph walks in to see his room ruined and his drums destroyed he gets mad and takes Mikey's nunchuck and puts the blade out and whams the blade right into Mikey's head with a loud scream ble bleeding everywhere and Raph was smiling like he enjoyed it and put Mikey in his room hanging him in the closet taking his mask later Raph seen Donnie and was still mad about Slash and blamed Donnie Raph ran to the kitchen and gets a knife he stays knife and he hides it it walking to Donnie he had the Mikey's orange bandana or mask and gags the and cuts through Donnie's plaster on into his heart, killing him instantly. Raph takes the bo both masks masks and puts Donnie in the closet. Leo and Splinter were the only two left. Raph came beh up behind Leo and takes his katana. When he turns, he sees Rev chopped his head clean off, blood coming out of Leo's dead body. The last time you were horrified, you wanted to get up and get out, but something about this kept you seated from your curiosity. Rav took both of Leo's katanas and went to for Splinter. Splinter was in deep meditation. 
and Raphael took the opportunity and slices his father's neck. In the background, you can only hear Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles can't save you now and then your name and this hears you even worse and when Raph is done he looked at you you, and you moved to the other side but his eyes stay locked on you and you hear him say, You're next. And then your name. And the TV shuts off. You feel breath on the back of your neck. You turn to see a blood-covered Raphael. And he cuts your head off. And before he does, he says, Say hello to my brothers. And he kills you. Then when you die, he disappears. You'll still hang out with his brothers in heaven today, but you will never forget that episode and song, te uh, The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Can't Save You Now. Then your name. The end. I seriously think I did a good job. I was kind of about a few parts, actually, when I wrote it. Then the messages I got was, this was very cool. I was very bored. I can see, but it's still awesome. Thanks. You're welcome. I just thought they did don't have one, so I'll give them one. I think I could, too, if I wasn't so lazy. That would be awesome if that... It really happened. It's good, but how can anybody experience this if they're dead? You die after, of course. I really got bored. I see. It was a snow day. Mm-hmm. Insanity. Now I'm gonna make one. I love it, though. Tam and T are the only ones who never had a creepypasta. They even have one for insurance. Oh, okay. I have one for everyone except for TMNT. I know, but everyone else is going to do this. I have nothing else to say. I'm waiting for somebody to draw a wrap behind me with a katana. <laughs> I was like, okay. And that's all I'm able to read because I got messages. And messages and messages and damn. Guys, you backing me up now. I got, I went from like 1 to 11. And none of them are chats. Yeah. Going insane. No, I don't want that one. I got the. Oh, God. Well. That was my creepypasta. I posted the art on my page. Hope you like it. I love it. <laughs> Aside from my insanity. But that's the reason why I wrote it. Is because I'm insane. Bye.